Tanzania is rich in tourism attractions. It can take you months to explore different sites, wildlife, mountains, craters, lakes, and cultural heritage centers. This has been prepared by me, Remy, and narrated by a software. Please have your hand to my work, by donating at least one US dollar by the link on the description. Bagamoyo, is one of the six districts, of the coast region of Tanzania. It lies 75 kilometers, 47 miles, north of Dar es Salaam, on the coast of the Indian Ocean. It is also 40 kilometers, from the famous island of Zanzibar. The original settlement, was founded in 8th century, and grew into an important trading town, by the 13th century. This area grew in prosperity, acquiring the name Bagamoyo by the 18th century, as an important stop in the caravan trade. Bwaga, means drop, and Moyo, means heart. Therefore, Bwagamoyo, meant, drop your heart. This name came during the slave trade, as it was a stop point for slaves, from the Tanganyika mainland. The word Bwagamoyo, signified the loss of hope, slaves had no hope to join their families again. It was from this stop, slaves were sailed to Zanzibar, to the slave market. Arabs from Oman, who introduced taxes and slave trade in the 18th century, invaded the city of Bagamoyo. Then Germans came over by 19th century, and made efforts to abolish the slave trade in the area. Later, the British took over in 1916. Your visit to Bukumoyo, will expose you to various historical attractions, and cultural heritage centers, from the 13th century, that exist to date. Here are some of top attractions you should visit. 1. Keol Ruins. The area contains old stone ruins, dating to a period between the 13th century, and the 16th century. Here, you will be able to see two mosques, and 30 tombs, from the 13th century. You will also see a water well, from the 13th century. Although all the surroundings have salty water, but this well has clean, and salt-free water. Also, its level has remained the same, despite the heavy rains, and human activities. You will be able to see the magic Baobab, planted in the 15th century, and more other interesting golfs. Please catch up on my video, which will explore the Kaol ruins in detail. 2. The Old Fort. The Old Fort of Bagamoyo, is the oldest of the many historical buildings, that is located in the old town section, of the town of Bagamoyo. It was built in the early 1860s, by Abdul Suleiman Mahabi, one of the first Arab traders in the area. Over the next few years, the building was used as a last stop by slave traders, and their caravans before boarding a ship, for foreign countries, or the slave market, in Zanzibar. 
When the Germans took over the town in 1896, they changed the building into a garrison, constructing soldiers' barracks, as well as a wall around it. You will be able to see the hanging place. Natives who opposed Germans were hanged to death. Please catch up on my video, which will explore this old fort in detail. 3. Old German Boma. It used to be an old state house, that was built by the Germans, at the end of the 19th century, with the sole purpose, of being a residence for its leaders in the area. It was only used by them for a few years, before their capital was moved to then Zizima, or currently known as Dar es Salaam, due to the shallow water depth, of the Bagamoyo port. It was again used by the British, after their takeover of the German colonies, from 1919 until 1961. The most interesting thing, is the three tons iron cupboard, left by Germans in 1918, which no one has been able to open to date. It is still unclear, about what was left in there. On a separate video, we will explore more on German Boma. 4. The Catholic Historic Museum. The Catholic Museum of Bogomoyo, is a historic landmark of the town that belongs to the Catholic Church, and is located at the end of Mango Drive. It is here, where the first Catholic Mass was held for the first time, in East African mainland, on 18th of July, 1868. In the same compound is the chapel, where Livingston's body was laid, from 24th to 25th of February 1874, before being taken to Zanzibar town, and route to Westminster Abbey. In the RC Museum, you will be able to see a number of collections, and paintings in one site, from 13th century. On a separate video, we shall explore more on this Catholic museum. These are just few. There is a lot to do in Bogomoyo. There's also Caravanserai, which was the resting point of slaves, after walking hundreds of miles away, from the mainland. There is Old Port, Old Market, Snake and Crocodile Parks, and more other traditional attractions to enjoy. Bogomoyo has been receiving thousands of local, and international tourists, it is time for you to be part of them. Please plan, and visit Tanzania soon. Please don't forget to go through other videos to explore each site in detail. Thank you.